Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you are here because as the title suggests, we are packing for a month in Portugal. I am so excited to be heading back to Europe for another adventure. We are going to pack and we're packing carry-on only for one month. The hardest part about this is it's in between seasons right now. It definitely makes packing a little bit tricky. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, like this video below. Without further ado, let's get packing. First, we're gonna talk about luggage. The first thing we need to do before we start packing is figuring out what we're gonna put everything in. This trip, I am traveling with my Samsonite four-wheeler carry-on suitcase. It's a hard case. It has a lock at the top, which is really handy. And I'm also traveling with the Osprey Ophelia backpack. I'm not sure if they make it anymore, but it has been a genius backpack for me traveling. And I'm also bringing a fanny pack that I found actually in Fanny Bay, BC, funny enough, for $1 at a garage sale. It's not some fancy travel backpack, but it is a bit bigger. I find a fanny pack really great to cross the body. It also fits my e-reader, my camera, many different things. Those are the three pieces we are traveling with today. The next thing we need to do is have a packing list. I have created a packing list and I've used it for almost every trip I've done this year. So it's got everything you need, download it below. It's completely free and I'm so stoked for you to have something to get organized so you don't miss anything on your trip. For jewelry, I am bringing some and for some with carry on that might not be a priority. For me, it really makes a difference. I like to wear rings every day. As someone who has a little bit of travel anxiety, rings are such a fun thing to play with. I also like jewelry to kind of jazz up an outfit when you don't have a lot of clothes to choose from. I find jewelry to be a really nice accessory to make you feel a little bit more put together. So I've just brought my bigger hoops, a couple more necklaces, one more ring, and simple earrings. And in terms of packing, we just have this little silk pouch that was actually my grandmother's that we'll put all our jewelry into. I don't have that many necklaces, so I'm not worried about things getting tangled. This way, it's in a beautiful little case, nice and protected, just in case something gets on it. Let's talk about toiletries. So I'm borrowing this Eagle Creek hanging toiletry case from my mom this time, which I'm hoping also in hostile showers, there's often not shelves to put anything on. So by having a hanging toiletry case, I hope it's easier for me to actually grab it out instead of trying to like fit everything on this little stool or shelf, even if there is one, which often there's not. So then I'm balancing. It's been a disaster before, let's say that. So anyway, we're gonna try this travel case out. This is everything I am bringing for a month of toiletries and makeup in Portugal. We have moisturizer, conditioner. These are my two makeup removers. We also have eye drops, a setting spray that's almost finished but is amazing. This is a liquid foundation, a light serum, but it also has SPF 40, which will be so important. I have this face wash that is almost finished. So I'm going to pack this other travel size sample I got and a little bit of eye cream. This is all the makeup. We have the Super Goo. This is also SPF setting powder. These mini milk bronzer, the Lush, a mini concealer, a mini mascara, a mini eyebrow stick, some lipstick, but could also be used as blush, and my eyelash curler. Now for the center part. We have toothpaste tabs instead of real toothpaste. We've also got a shampoo bar instead of shampoo, a body wash bar instead of body wash. We're one of those people who still has to wear their retainer. My razor, floss, clippers. We also have a hair clip and a hair elastic, a mini sized hairbrush, face razor, a shower cap I stole from a hot hotel because I don't like to wash my hair every day. Our one makeup brush, dry shampoo that's non-aerosol, deodorant, a toothbrush, and inside is also my tweezers and my tongue scraper. I will be taking a full size bottle of contact solution. And inside here we have my glasses and my contacts. This will actually fit in my backpack, but this needs to fit in here.
It is very full. The hardest thing for me to pack is my clothes. I am not a fashionista, but considering the travel that I have done in Europe, people in Europe do dress much better than folks in North America. They don't wear leggings. Ath athleisure wear isn't a thing. It's athletic wear, not athleisure wear. So I didn't know what to bring for this trip. Yeah, it's been hard to pack. Nonetheless, I wanted to make sure a few outfits could go with each other. So here are some of the few things I'm bringing. I have the Lululemon Align crop top and I have the Lululemon Align shorts, which are the softest things to wear. The cool thing is I also have these in black. So now I have a full black outfit, which I love to be like underneath a couple shirts. I found this shirt thrifted from a store, which I love because it's kind of this like loose wool tank top. It works great with the line top underneath. If I want another layer, I could wear this Frank and Oak mock turtleneck, which is so warm, so soft, but I still have the line crop underneath because it works great as a bra and a tank top, which I love two in one items. And then for bottoms, obviously we have shorts, but we also have some black pair of jeans, which is actually a pair of hand-me-down jeans from my sister. They fit me and I thought that they wouldn't, but they are the stretchiest things. And I think I'll take them because they're stretchy. They're super comfortable. So I think this is like a cute could go out outfit. I think it'd be even better with a belt. This is a belt I bought in Florence when I was last visiting there in June. And I'm thinking if it get cold at night, we might need a layer on top. I love this too because it's super warm. And here's my hack for hostels and airplanes. If you don't want to talk to anybody and you want a little quiet time, that's how you get it. It's even colder. This yellow, green, what color is this? I don't know. I think this outfit is really great. If it is a bit warmer out, you can add a little bit more jewelry. We also have to be sun safe. Thanks dad for the bowl cap. <laughs> now it's time to get cuddly for pajama time. And I think you're gonna be surprised what I pack for pajamas. I wear a full long sleeve, a full pair of pants, and I am someone who wears socks to bed. Comment below if you are someone who does the same. I know it's a controversial topic, socks in bed, yes, no. It's not my smallest fleece. I'm debating even bringing it. I'm thinking it is so warm. It'll be a great layer under a rain jacket in case I have to wear my rain jacket, which I'm anticipating having to do. Okay, there's one more outfit I wanna show you. I am bringing one bikini with me and the scarf you saw me wearing earlier can be used also as like a little shawl. There is a pool even at my hostel too. So we can use this as like a little beach cover up to cover the bum bum. I thought I was strategic in that going from day to maybe more night is this dress. It's from Zara. Not a fan of fast fashion, but I actually thrifted it for like 10 bucks. So I'm all for a little secondhand one moment. What I love about this dress is it's almost the same cut as my bathing suit. So it kind of hides perfectly underneath. It is longer, so that way it can be warmer, but there's slits on the side. So it can kind of be a little dressier at night. I'm only bringing white sneakers, but if I put some more of my jewelry on, I'm thinking my coat, even like rock it with the ball cap, you know, a little casual, a little fancy. I just like the slits and it's so comfy. The most important outfit is actually your travel day outfit. I'll be wearing this pair of Lululemon pants my black align crop top and then I'm wearing this white dent. it's like a full lemon outfit this white long sleeve which was also a hand-me-down for my friend Brittany so it's nice because it is about a little bit of a sweat wicking and these pants are like swishy in cold cold weather they're cold <laughs> that makes no sense you know when they're kind of like they get colder but I think on the airplane they'll be nice and breathing while sitting which is something like you know sweaty crotch on the plane I'm also gonna wear this sweater over top it's a nice layer so this is travel day outfit. I will be also wearing my coat, <laughs> my too. And we're gonna have my sweater nearby. So here we go for travel outfit. There's a few tips I wanted to share when I consider packing my suitcase. Rolling versus folding. I find the rolling method better. You can compress your clothes a lot easier. can really tuck them in one another. If they're small enough, you can kind of stack them on top. So I'm a rolling person. I 
I also use rubber bands as a tool. When I was traveling multiple destinations, I found this really helpful to identify what clothes were clean or dirty, or you know that kind of like half dirty? So it's not quite in your laundry bag, but it's also not super clean. And especially for coats and larger items too, having a rubber band around it keeps the compression in. Sometimes though, adding a folded item on top is the best method because it just is the way things are fitting in your suitcase. Inside this pocket, I like to carry laundry strips. I also carry extra contact solution and a photocopy of my passport. Normally, I'm a packing cubes girl. The difference in this trip is I'm staying in one location for a month. I don't feel the need to have different sections and to keep things organized. I think I'll pack one just so that when I'm at my hostel, I can kind of keep my closet or locker or drawer organized, but otherwise I don't think I need them. pack of gum, essential oils, an anxiety ring, and the best anxiety like scratchy pad, leather pouch, hand sanitizer, my European SIM card that I keep reusing, El Pasaporte, cash that I'm gonna go get exchanged, headphones, the kind that can go into an Apple device, a regular device, and they're corded, noise cancelling for the babinos on the plane, lip chat, Vaseline is my life, basic over-the-counter medication in case I have a headache, hair clip, earplugs, hair elastic. And last but not least on this packing tour is my digital nomad slash content creator items. So this includes my camera, my camera charger, my mini tripod. We also have an external power bank, chargers for my iPhone as well as my Apple Watch. We have chargers for my power bank, for my camera charger at nighttime. That all goes into one little pouch. And additionally, I bring my laptop with my hard drive attached via Velcro. I'm also bringing a notebook, my new e-reader, which is a new addition to the electronics family. It's the Kobo Clara. I got it for a birthday gift. I'm really excited to use that this time. The best candy in the world that only has three grams of sugar and a cliff bar. We have a pair of sunglasses. Ooh la la. Must have in a hostel is your own lock. Lysol wipes and extra stasher bag so I can use it for organizing or food. A little pencil case. My glasses will go inside my backpack. And one of my favorite items is this cutlery case. So we have fork, spoon, and knife, and straw, which inside has my straw cleaner. I already have my toiletries the bottom here and then I have my liquids in this compartment to make for easy grabbing when it's time to go through security. That concludes my packing video. I am so stoked to go to Portugal tomorrow, which is nuts for me. So I hope you enjoyed this packing video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button below. Please, por favor, por favor, pizza, s'il vous plaît. That's about all the languages I know. Please hit that subscribe button below, hit a like, comment below what your favorite item was. I've linked every item below in the description. I'm so stoked for this adventure and thank you for packing with me. I can't wait to see your packing tips with my packing list and we will catch you in the next adventure. Have a great day guys. That was a lot of packing. This is like the part two. I'm stressed about leaving, but it's gonna be great. So thanks for watching.
to kind of be a little bit more just as the video of this title a better Oops, I pressed record. And then I'm really excited to try these tooth late. I'm really excited to. Uh, 